Although I will be making a motion to approve this application, I will make a public request to the operator to please consider, in the interest of being a good neighbor, moving the proposed pits and equipment as far as possible away from the camp. What you're seeing here is a wastewater treatment facility in the Permian Basin. It is an oil field waste pit. The plumes that are off-gassing from the tank emit cancer-causing pollutants. The Texas state government is allowing a waste pit like one of these to be built directly across from a children's summer camp. My name is Miguel from Oilfield Witness, and I've been doing field work in the Permian Basin for over four years now, and today I want to recount one of the most terrifying events that I've witnessed in the oil fields. It is a story of corporate greed, children being exposed to cancerous air, and the state government's pathetic response to the situation. So this all started when an oil company called Martin Water made plans for a toxic wastewater facility. This is very common. The oil and gas industry creates a lot of toxic wastewater called produced water during the process of extraction. And so these pits store, dispose, and treat wastewater, but in the process, risk contaminating the groundwater below it and emit cancerous pollutants that off-gas from the water. That cancer pollutant is what you saw through the OGI footage at the beginning of the video. And so these pits are a big problem for the environment. But what's particularly worse about this case with Martin Water Company is the location they decided for the facility. Despite the company having around 11,000 acres of land available to them, they decided to build this pit directly adjacent to the Circle Six Baptist Camp. This is a conference center and spiritual retreat center where nearly 300 children visit for Baptist Camp every year. And so Sharon and I have visited the conference center this past June. It, there, there's a little playground, there are kids playing, laughing, and having fun. All the while you could see the construction of this waste pit just a few yards away from the fence line of the property. It's very unnecessary, it's unacceptable for this company to build the pit right there. And so this is where the Texas state government enters the story. The Texas Railroad Commission, which regulates oil and gas, is the government body that approves or denies the permits of these wastewater pits. Circle Six Baptist Camp hired lawyers to fight the case. Uh, they called up as an expert witness uh, Texas A&M University environmental scientist and oil and gas remediation expert William Rogers. And Rogers says in this proceeding, quote, in my 40 some years, this is probably the worst sighting I have ever seen as far as being close to proximity to a camp, proximity to the groundwater, and the potential risk and unknowns. I, quite frankly, was shocked at seeing the proximity of the camp to the facility. And it really is shocking if you're there in person. The nerve and the audacity of this company to try to build something this toxic where children go to summer camp, it's astonishing. And so the Railroad Commission had a very easy choice to make. The commissioners are Christy Craddock, Wayne Christian, and Jim Wright. There's, there was a hearing about this July 30th of this year. The Martin County Precinct 4 Commissioner, Coy Blocker, actually provided testimony against the, this, this permit, against the approval of this site. Here's some of what he said. I understand, as stated in paragraph, that the risk is low, that H2S will reach the camp. My, pers my personal uh, issue with that is the, risk is the statement, the risk is low. With 250 to 300 children attending the camp for a week at a time during the summer months, when the temperature inversions happen in the evenings uh, and the wind is calm, is the r low risk of H2S gas good enough? I find it hard to believe that out of 1,180 acres, this is the only location that the facilities can be located. And so the, the Railroad Commission very easily should have said, you know what, Martin Water, you actually cannot build this waste pit here because that would poison nearly 300 children that are next to it. But they didn't say this. The commission approved Martin County's permit 
And the way they actually did this is very instructive. Both Commissioner Jim Wright and Wayne Christian approved the permit, but publicly requested that the company not build the facility. Although I will be making a motion to approve this application, I will make a public request to the operator to please consider, in the interest of being a good neighbor, moving the proposed pits and equipment as far as possible away from the camp. Within the limits of the draft permit, if it is 100 feet, that can make a real difference. I appreciate any adjustments that you may consider making. With that, Madam Chair, I move that we approve the examiner's recommendation and approve the subject application. Uh, Madam Chairman, uh, joining uh, Commissioner Wright in requesting that they move the facility as far away as possible, uh, that is, a, I, mean, I, I second the motion. Uh, second by Commissioner Christian. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. That item's approved. So stop and think for a second how backwards the situation is. These commissioners have the power to prevent the pit from happening. They apparently don't want the wastewater facility to be built, yet they allowed it to go through. And this demonstrates how massively influential the oil and gas industry is in West Texas. These commissioners are so terrified of their fossil fuel donors that they acted this way. It's pathetic. And so the overall takeaway here is that the Texas state government is rotten to its core. It needs to be drastically overhauled. We cannot trust the oil industry to act in a decent neighborly way. Uh, and we desperately must transition away from this form of extraction and towards clean renewable energy. So much of this video's information came from Martha Piskowski's reporting at Inside Climate News. You can check out um, the article. And um, I also wrote up a blog post with commentary about this case. You can check that out on our website as well. And keep following our work to see us expose more oil field secrets. And thanks for watching.